Row is one of the richest projects we've ever worked on because of its long history and story buildings. The first step in developing a concept for this site was to do a ton of research. Once we understood that history, we could start adding to that story with the new design for a mixed-use district. This site was originally the terminus for the Southern Pacific Railroad. The first buildings, the produce buildings, were built in 1914. And once upon a time, almost all the goods in LA came through this site. Our approach to the design of Row was to really understand all the ingredients that were already on the site and take from those ingredients and essentially make a new recipe. Rather than introducing a lot of new elements, it was really about what's there now and how can we reuse them, redeploy them, reimagine them to create something new that simultaneously connects to the history. So we really focused on using the materials that were already on site and we also looked at the materials that were maybe not so apparent anymore, but were really a part of this site over the last hundred years, um, given that trains and trucks and millions of boxes of goods came through here, what were those materials? And so we used a lot of industrial plywood and we used some reclaimed wood, as well as blackened steel, and tried to maintain as much of the existing concrete as possible. Road DTLA was imagined as a stage for a vibrant urban community. We need to create a really cohesive story for the site, and if that story is really clear, then it allows for other designers and artists to build on that story. We wanted to create a site that people could explore, and every single time they come, find something new. And one of the most powerful things that we discovered we could do was to introduce these breezeways through these massive concrete buildings. Another thing that we did was we pulled a tree off of Alameda. All the trees, street trees on Alameda were slated for demolition. We chose the nicest specimen, which was about 60 years old. They moved the 60-year-old tree about a thousand feet to its current location. The current location used to be totally closed off and was an electrical substation. One thing that's really striking about Road DTLA is that the scale of the streets create a truly pedestrian environment. Once you come to Rowan, you get out of your car and you walk up and down the streets and through the breezeways, you really feel like you're in almost like an urban hamlet. Row is like a city within a city. The rich array of program that exists on the site, which includes office tenants, retail restaurants, a robust arts program, it really functions as almost like a self-sustaining creative community. It was set up that way, and it's also set up in a way that it has a lot of room for growth, and so we're all really excited to see what unexpected future existence Row has.